Welcome to this screencast of a Prezi about screencasting. We're going to discuss a definition of screencasting, examine a tutorial created with screencasting, and talk about software and important features. So what the heck is screencasting anyway? Also called screen demo, desktop recording, or video screen capture, it's using software to record the action on your computer screen. Basically, it's making a movie without the glamour or the Hollywood budget. You are the writer, producer, director, and actor. So to get a feel for what screencasting is all about, we'll have a look at a tutorial created with screencasting that shows how to search the Ovid Medline database. We begin our search on the home page from McMaster's Health Sciences Library, where Ovid is located under Key Resources, Health Databases. Within Ovid, you can find more information about any database by selecting the adjacent blue eye button. So here's what that same tutorial looks like from the inside. This is the storyboard view in which each individual slide is shown in the order at which it appears in the completed screencast. Here are some of the commands down the side and the different options and features. Now we're going to go to the edit view which is most, where most of your work is done. You can see that the timeline for each slide is sort of like a control panel. You can see every element of the slide here. Here's the audio track actual slide itself, a highlight box, the caption box there, and an animated arrow. Each of these elements can be edited and customized. So how do we screencast effectively? Have a plan. That's crucial. Just like in a real movie, you write out a storyboard and plan what you're going to do. Create a script, and when you're filming, make sure you say what you're going to do before you do it. Take some test runs, and that way you'll be able to tweak your product. And edit. You'll be doing a lot of editing just to get things just right. So what software do we use for screencasting? There's myriad products. I think new ones come along just about every day. But in higher education, there's just basically two big guns, and they are Adobe Captivate and Camtasia by TechSmith. That's the product I'm using now. So Camtasia and Captivate have a lot in common. They're both highly sophisticated and they deliver a very slick looking professional product. Users can record audio and video separately or together, you can add captioning and animations, import PowerPoint and other media, incorporate interactive features such as quizzing, and they have accessibility options such as closed captioning or table of contents and each offers multiple output formats for publishing. So these features make librarians and educators happy because they allow us to strive for higher level learning objectives. So that brings us to our screencasting software smackdown. How do we choose between Captivate or Camtasia? So let's have a look at Captivate offers multiple options for designing captions, animations, graphics. There's very high level editing functions, pretty good user support, and the end product is highly professional looking. Some cons. I find the learning curve very steep with Captivate. The user, user interface is extremely complicated, and it can be tough to find answers to specific technical questions when you consult the Captivate help features. I usually had to turn to online forums to find the answers to my questions. So what about Camtasia? The best thing from my perspective is its clean, uncluttered interface. It's easy to use. The functions are intuitive. They make sense. When you need to find help, the Camtasia help sections are logical, easy to find. I was able to get my questions answered easily. There's a good selection of designs for captions, animations, and graphics. It's got very high level editing functions, and the end product is very sleek and professional looking. On the downside, there are fewer options for designing the function and appearance of any quizzes or surve surveys with Camtasia, 
and there's fewer choices of how the um, controls appear when you're playing back the finished product. So who's the champ? It's a tough call. They're both priced comparably. Educational institutions could buy Captivate for $299 and Camtasia for $179. So who wins? It's a tie. They're both useful in different contexts. Camtasia is my favorite because it's easier to use, but if I was going to design a tutorial or a lesson that required some pretty high level um, capabilities for designing a quiz or a survey, we'd have to go with Adobe Captivate. Keep in mind that there are many other screencasting software options. If you're not concerned about higher level functions such as interactivity or quizzing or accessibility features, you can find a couple of really good um, quick hits in Jing or Screener, both of which are freely available on the web and easy to use. So now I'd encourage you to jump in the driver's seat and take screencasting out for a test drive. You can find demonstration versions of Camtasia and Captivate and other screencasting software. So try it out. See what you don't like, see what you do like, and learn.